Scissors too work on the principle of liver. This is its effort. This is fulcrum. And this is the load area. Here we place the load. The nearer the load, the more easily it will be cut, as the load arm would be smaller in that case. So if you want to cut a cardboard with scissors, placing it here will be difficult. But if you place it nearer to the fulcrum, the cardboard will be cut more easily, as the effort arm would be longer and load arm would be shorter. Here we have pliers. In case of pliers, the effort arm is much longer than the load arm. That's why pliers are very efficient to do very heavy tasks. Now, let's learn about class 2 levers. Where the load is in the center, here the effort arm is the distance between the effort and the fulcrum and the load arm, distance between the load and the fulcrum. So, in every case of class 2 lever, the effort arm is much longer than the load arm. So, class 2 levers are mostly used for heavy weight activities. Examples of class 2 levers include a wheelbarrow, lemon squeezer, bottle opener, nutcracker, all have load in the center. And so all of them have effort arm much bigger than the load arm. Now let's learn about class 3 lever. Where effort is in the center, effort arm is the distance between the effort and the fulcrum, and load arm is the distance between the load and the fulcrum, as effort is in the center. So here, in every case, effort arm is going to be smaller than the load arm. Therefore, larger effort is required to do a very small work. This type of lever is used to do very light jobs, like tweezers. Effort arm is much smaller than the load arm here. Here are more examples of class 3 levers. And in all the cases, effort being in the center, the effort arm is much smaller than the load arm. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye